Brexit Live, Golden Age. Britain's clout in Europe has increased after ditching shackles. Brexit Britain's relationship with Eastern Europe is flourishing better than ever before. Poland's Deputy Prime Minister Piotr Glinsk said that without the shackles of the European Union, Poland and the UK have triumphantly formed a trilateral agreement with Ukraine. This follows the remarks from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky where he praised the historic leadership of his friend British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Without EU red tape, Brexit Britain finds itself in a unique and exciting position whereby it can further expand its influence in Eastern Europe. This comes at a time when other European nations find themselves with tattered relations. Germany's close economic ties to the Kremlin have raised eyebrows. Along with French President Emmanuel Macron's continued dialogue with Putin which led to him being compared to Hitler. Steve Edgington writes in The Telegraph that this has shown the EU is the self-obsessed. Myopic institution that many in Britain have long known it to be. If Le Pen wins France it's game over for EU's leftist ambitions, says David Maddox. Imagine a general election for Parliament where Gina Miller's true and fair party topped the polls narrowly ahead of Richard Tice's Reform Party with the Socialist Workers' Party in third and Lawrence Fox's reclaim in fourth. Such a scenario would seem ludicrous if you suggested it might happen in 2024 yet that is exactly what took place in France this weekend. French politics is undergoing a political revolution that makes Brexit look like an undersized soggy baguette in comparison. With Sunday's votes now counted it has been confirmed that for the second time in five years Emmanuel Macron will be in a final runoff with the right-wing nationalist leader Marine Le Pen. More than two-thirds of the French who bothered to go to the ballot box on Sunday backed extremist candidates from either the right or left over the moderate centrists. But what France is undergoing is very much linked to Brexit. The French, like the British in 2016, are fed up with the political elites who dominated the two main parties of power.